originally known as Racine College. Well, I've cut through the guards, and here's the Coven Center. It's a whole university campus, really quite amazing. The university's been closed for ages. It's a chapel, obviously, in front of us, and some buildings. James DeCoven is buried here. That's what I'm kind of looking for, is his burial spot. You can see the stones on the chapel, the dates are our class stones, and I think we found it. Reverend Park. Father to Coven. It's in our Book of Saints. I'm in, I made it. Hey, hey, George, nice is at the you. foundation board for the Living Church Foundation. Oh, and, yes, uh, I want this. Armitage Cop, it was a trophy, the prize of the first nine, it says on it. It's obviously some sort of a baseball trophy, which is appropriate since Father, then later Bishop Armitage's first parish, is now next door to the baseball stadium in Detroit. So that, uh, yeah, we would have never known that. Yes. <laughs> this is the famous church, the chapel, which for years was for the college, and built in 1864, and then later for the school, and then the sisters would have used this as well. Um, the community of St. Mary was here for 50 years. The windows are called the Apostle windows, as each window has a line from the Apostle's Creed on it, and it starts up in the northeast corner and comes around. Wow. The, uh, the, those who've done some traveling around Indiana will recognize the layout. It's very much like the uh, chapel at the Howe Military Academy, which is Episcopal, or St. John Military Academy yeah. in Neshota. All built. Also, uh, something Bishop Dukovin, Father Dukovin, was involved in founding Northwest yes. Military Academy. Oh, yes. yep. Wow. And it smells like an old church in here. <laughs> yeah, you can see the sisters had choir seating and the seats face each other. at the end of the choir. And you said it's mostly used now for weddings. Exactly. Or concerts. Or for concerts. The windows are all Belgian stained glass. And 
the time that was considered the premier stained glass of the the old those were domain instruments. Yes, yes, a pump organ. Try to imagine what this place was like with a oh. school full of children, college students, and then prep students, and then right, here, filled with nuns. Here was the pipes that held the gas lamps. Oh, you can see that. Yes, and here is where General Billy Mitchell sat and carved his name with a the point of a compass. And we have a letter of his to his parents asking for a new compass. You know? oh, now we know why. And of course, the airport in Milwaukee is named after him now. Correct. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, Beautiful wood carved sacristy. sink in the corner and everything. This is the St. Mary's Chapel? Yes. Was this something the sisters put in or? I don't know. It must have been because when this was a school, this was the library. So it must have gone in when the sisters I wonder if as the sisters like became the smaller. That's all right. As, this, as the order. Some of the basement of the great hall. It's the old kitchen, the dining hall, not used now. There's a gentleman here. The food is pulled right, up. up. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is the great Concerts. hall. It was the dining hall for the undergraduates for the college. Now used for the occasional wedding reception and concerts, things of that nature. Uh, quite nice. Lower level. <laughs> I like kids. You can see the windows from the classes at the college. You think about not only this college closing, but you think about colleges like um, James Lloyd Breck founded colleges in Minnesota and in California that failed as well. 